coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Lilium unable to secure funding ceases operations. Blue Origin sends New Shepard rocket on uncrewed test. And new FAA rule establishes category for powered lift aircraft. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Lilium unable to secure funding ceases operations. In a move that seemed to come out of left field, Lilium announced it's on the verge of insolvency and has ceased operations. On October 24th, Lilium NB submitted a Form 6K filing to the SEC, stating that the managing directors of its two operating subsidiaries, Lilium GmbH and Lilium E Aircraft GmbH, determined that they are over indebted and will be unable to pay existing liabilities within the next few days. Lilium said it had been notified that the Parliament of the Federal Republic of Germany would not approve a 50 million euro guarantee of a 100 million euro convertible loan. The Munich-based company has also been in talks with the German Free State of Bavaria for a separate loan of 50 million euro, but have not reached an agreement in principle. Lilium has an order book for more than 100 of its Lilium jets, including an order of 100 units worth 1 billion euro by Saudi Arabia. Several units were also sold to Volare in the UK, and had been in discussions with the Texas-based brokerage company to bring the Lilium jet as the first ever air taxi sold in the US. However, a fire occurred in its first prototype during maintenance work in 2020, and the company paused testing on the second, newer model to determine what caused the accident. After the break, Ara Aero to build production facility in Florida. currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our Next Gen Minute. Ara Aero to build production facility in Florida. France-based aircraft builder Ara Aero announced it has selected Daytona Beach International Airport to build its 500,000 square foot manufacturing and assembly facility for production of its hybrid electric regional aircraft. Ara Aero is building the facility to meet demand in the growing North American market. The Daytona Beach plant is expected to be operational by late 2028, eventually producing 100 of the company's hybrid electric ERA aircraft per year, while creating about 1,000 high-paying jobs for the regional economy. NATA issues statement on FAA's SFAR covering powered lift aircraft. 
NATA issued a statement regarding the FAA's announcement of the SFAR covering the integration of the newly created powered lift category of aircraft into the national airspace system. The ruling takes into account input from NATA members, and NATA President and CEO Kurt Castagna participated in the signing ceremony. Quote, NATA welcomes the FAA's timely release of the final rule for the integration of powered lift, pilot certifications, and operations as far, a productive first step in the deployment of AAM technology within the general aviation landscape and a powerful complement to aviation industry goals, end quote. Textron Aviation now provides Starlink internet installations. Textron Aviation announced at the NBAA base that its service centers for Beechcraft King Air B200 and 300 and Cessna Citation 560XL series aircraft will provide installations of Starlink high-speed satellite internet. The announcement came after the FAA approved an STC for Aeromex to install the internet connectivity solution, which utilizes Starlink's constellation of low-Earth orbit satellites. The system provides reliable connectivity over land, water, and remote areas where other in-flight Wi-Fi may not have service. Social media platforms remove War Drone Factory accounts. Several social media outlets, including Google, Meta, and TikTok, have removed the accounts of a Russian drone manufacturer. An advanced press investigation accused the plant of recruiting young women to build drones for the Ukrainian war effort. The facility is located in the Alabuga Special Economic Zone, which falls under U.S. and British jurisdiction. Its social media posts advertised the Alabuga Start program, promising foreign women a plane ticket to Russia and $500 per month of work. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Blue Origin sends New Shepard rocket on uncrewed test. After a number of delays, Blue Origin's 27th mission debuted the second human-rated vehicle for the New Shepard program, enabling expanded flight capacity to better meet what they claim to be growing customer demand. The new crew capsule is named RSS Carmen Line. The vehicle features technology upgrades to improve the vehicle's performance and reusability, an updated livery, and accommodations for payloads on the booster. New Shepard remains one of the most sustainable rockets to ever fly to space. Nearly 99% of New Shepard's dry mass is reused, including the booster, capsule, engine, landing gear, and parachutes. Phil Joyce, SVP of New Shepard, said, quote, we look forward to welcoming crew on board RSS Carmen Line soon and offering the New Shepard flight experience to people across the world from all backgrounds. On every New Shepard mission, we've witnessed people return to Earth changed by this experience and with a renewed sense of commitment to preserve our planet." End quote. The flight carried five payloads on the booster and seven inside the crew capsule, including tens of thousands of postcards flying as part of Club for the Future's Postcards to Space program. Each postcard will be returned to its creator, stamped flown to space. After these messages, new FAA rule establishes category for powered lift aircraft. For over 30 years, the massive sport plane resource guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more details.
Welcome back. New FAA rule establishes category for powered lift aircraft. The FAA announced a new rule at NBAA base that signals the highly anticipated acceptance and integration of powered lift into the FAA's domain of aviation. The rule establishes the new category of powered lift aircraft, which have characteristics of both helicopters and airplanes. Operations in the category include air taxi, cargo delivery, and a variety of additional operations in both urban and rural areas. By finalizing amendments and an SFAR for a period of 10 years to facilitate pilot and instructor certification and clarify operational rules, the FAA considers this is the final piece in the puzzle for safely integrating powered lift aircraft into the national airspace system in the near term. It defines the qualifications and training required of pilots and instructors to fly aircraft in this category and also lays out operational requirements such as required visibility and minimum safe altitudes. This new era of aircraft and aviation is still taking shape and its evolution will continue for years to come as new opportunities for the use of powered lift are still being discovered. Right now those include urban transport of commuters and other travelers, short haul air ambulance, and cargo operations. There are also some innovative companies developing regional aircraft in this category. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.